What up, collective? My name is Delilah. Welcome to Star C Direct. All right, so this is going to be a quick check in with the signs. Thank you so much to those who wished my son a happy birthday. All of your emails, all of your donations, all of your support across any of my platforms is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. I'm going to take a quick minute to pivot and check in with my Zodiac baby because that's what we do best here at Star C Direct, okay? Mm. Collective. We're going to pull an oracle and a tarot card for each sign. Let's get to it. Thank you for tuning in today. All right. Aries, your affirmation for today. Well, today, Aries, you are receptive, right? Today I will let go of the past, I will live in the present, and I am looking forward to a bright future, okay? The color green may be significant, you may be working out of the heart space, Aries, which is good energy to be in, all right? My fellow Rams, we are understanding, even though this is a reoccurring energy that we go through, but keep in mind that you can't change the past, all you can do is move forward, right? For others that may be trying to bring up your past constantly, leave them to the garbage. We've already taken it out, okay? You need to stay focused on the task at hand. Mm, perhaps possibly something that you're working on. Let's clarify your um, oracle today with a tarot card. Hmm. What better card to get than the chariot, okay? Cancerian energy. So if you have any placements in cancer, they may be significant today, okay? I'm also getting this is a strong sense of being in control as well as self-control, right? Because off of the oracle, we have reception. So you are controlling your thoughts at this time and your actions and diligently staying focused and moving forward in a constant direction, well done, Rams. Taurus. Taurus, today you are loved. Today you will know in your heart that you deserve love and respect, okay? I'm definitely getting um, heart chakra energy also, but third eye okay so you know regardless of what it looks like with the naked eye you know in your third eye that you are well received and loved okay you may be looking for outward advances of this love at this time taurus clarifying your oracle for today mm, we have the universe okay which is symbolizing the ending of a cycle okay because maybe leading up to this point, Taurus, for some reason you felt that you weren't getting any love or some kind of cycle of being overlooked is coming to an end, okay? Gemini. Gemini. Geminians, you got the same oracle as Aries, okay? So you could be collaborating with an Aries. You are letting go of the past. You will live in the present and look forward to a bright future, okay? So you may be dealing with an Aries or some dynamic of this may also be in your chart. You may have Aries in your chart, okay? So you want to look at those placements and see how they affect the house that it is respectively in, okay? Okay. So Gemini, let's get your tarot card. Understanding that things happen the way they happen, okay, on the timeline. And the best thing we could do is move forward. There may be dynamics, whether they come in the form of people, places, or things that may try to snag you or keep you snared, right? And this is a way that, this is a vehicle that the energetic 
enemy uses to keep us stagnant, which is why you need to move forward and stay focused, okay? Geminians, you have the three of wands, okay? Definitely reiterating that visionary energy, okay? Because it's hard to really see the way forward when we're focused too much on where we've already been, right, Gemini? So you want to stay forward focused, okay? Because there's a way out of this fire. You see the ladder, Gemini? Wait for it. Cancer. All right. Cancer, today you make a decision. You will only surround yourself with people that support you, right? So Cancer, you may be going through some emotions of feeling not supported, whether that's by family, friends, or coworkers. There's a dynamic of possibly something that you want to achieve or move forward on, but you're not really getting the support that you thought you would be getting, okay? Whether this is just an idea, an endeavor, um, whether that's creative or work-related, there's some dynamic of something that you believe in, but you feel like people don't support you, okay? Let's get a tarot card for Cancer. This may be possibly due to you holding back on something mm, or not having balance in a situation. You could be dealing with a Libra or the justice system, okay? There's a dynamic of this that you feel like you're not going to be supported because people may be trying to water down or murk the true purpose behind what you're creating or you what you stand for, right? Because cancer represents emotions also. There may be something that is emo emotionally charging you today that is really getting you in the feels, cancer, and it's because you feel a level of imbalance when it comes to your support system, okay? For anyone to support you, Cancer, you first have to believe in whatever this is that you want support for. No one's going to get behind you unless you believe it's something worth getting behind. Leo. Leo. Hold on a second. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm multitasking at the moment, making my kids lunch. Leo, vacation was awesome. Thank you for asking. All right, let's see. Leo, you have today, I have faith. Today I have faith and truly believe that anything is possible, okay? A lot of yellow here, so solar plexus may be significant, okay? Maybe... Spirit is ushering you to have faith in whatever this is that you are trying to generate or create, whether that is a physical, tangible creation or project, or just having faith in your ability to create, okay? Your tarot card, Leo. Mm. You have the five of cups, okay? So there is a level of disappointment here. It possibly could be due to the failing to create um, or you're feeling disappointed about something that didn't go as expected, okay? And the only reason why I'm saying it's related to creation is because of the solar plexus energy. Perhaps you tried to... Do something in regards to that type of energy, whether this is directly you or an extension of you, okay? There's some kind of disappointment that you are in today, okay? It's definitely giving me energy of possibly afraid, being afraid to start a new beginning in something, okay? Possibly you regret not taking the leap towards whatever this opportunity is sooner, okay? Because you were overthinking. Leo, you got to get out of this um, situation of overthinking things. If it's a good idea, run with it, okay? Do the respective actions you need to do to patent the idea or copyright the idea if it's something that, you know, those are your concerns. Other than that, um, 
you need to believe that you can achieve whatever this is, okay? And perhaps in past endeavors, you didn't have that level of mustard seed faith, okay? The divine says you only need your mustard seed, Leo. And maybe leading up to this point, you relied too much on, you know, the cosine faith of other people around you. You need to have blind faith, okay? And when you get to that point, you are able to create at a capacity that is divinely guided. Virgo. Virgo. Virgo, today you will forgive. Today, you will forgive any past mistakes you have made and love yourself unconditionally. Absolutely. Okay, giving me strong bottom three of the Kundalini stem. Okay, so you have root, sacral, and solar plexus energy being represented here. Okay, which is very important. We're talking about the core, the core of your being. Think of where those chakras are aligned on your stem, right? Just for visual purposes. We're talking about the seed of creation all the way up to action, okay? Leading up the rest of the stem, you have what's above the 3D avatar. But these three are very important in actually executing anything in the 3D, okay? Bringing vision to life. There's a dynamic of this, Virgo, that you maybe have used or utilized that energy in a negative way and... It directly affected how you viewed yourself, whether that is as an individual or a participant in a greater scale of things, okay, in the simulation. Clarifying this, we have mm, the Three of Swords. Virgo, what's going on? You're heartbroken about something, possibly about a breakup. For some of you, it may be um, heartbroken about possibly not leaving something that wasn't healthy for you. It could be an addiction. Maybe forgiving yourself for not taking better care of yourself, right, Virgo? Because on some kind of level, this has something to do with harming oneself whether that is emotionally physically or metaphorically speaking okay possibly not acting out of a unconditional love space for oneself okay and that can be acted out in many different ways not just drugs and alcohol you could have any kind of addiction to anything maybe how you pacified this lack of self-love was by harming others or excessively using something that wasn't beneficial to the outcome of making you feel better, right? Because an addiction is essentially something that you um, try to fill in a void of something that you're not confronting in your life, okay? So spirit is urging you to forgive yourself for not acting out at a higher, you know, capacity that you could have at the time and to move forward, okay? Because nobody's perfect, all right, my bad. Multitasking like a boss. All right, Libra. Libra. Today you are free of drama. Today I will let go of people that do not support me and only surround myself with positive people. Okay. You may be dealing with a Virgo don't have to be but there is again you see these colors there's some kind of blockage that's possibly coming about due to some kind of drama that you have involved yourself with in regards to other energies okay it's very important to try to stay away from low vibrational situations okay if you can swing it libra because if you, especially if you're trying to manifest you, it's going to be very difficult to manifest not only the level of the things you want, but the speed 
at which you want the manifestation to actually happen is going to be conducive to you being able to keep the blinders on right because it's almost like every time you get into that manifestation energy okay i like to call it my goldilocks zone it, there's always going to be someone that's going to try to throw a monkey wrench in, whether it's a physical person or just life, right? Because they want to distract you or exploit you or whatever. I don't know what your particular situation is, Libra, but I'm also getting whatever it is. It's it's not going to um, affect you in a positive way. If it's something that, it, that could wait, let it wait, Libra, okay? Unless it's an emergency, then obviously you're going to have to pivot yeah, you're also in that five of cups energy. Mm. You may be regretting involving yourself in a particular situation, okay? Because you're realizing now that whoever this person, place, or thing is only brought more problems instead of surrounding yourself with people that support you, that love you unconditionally, that are positive, right? Because it's important to keep us, keep ourselves around like-minded individuals, um, there's a quote, I don't, I think it's by Plato, but don't quote me, where um, intelligent minds discuss ideas and feeble minds discuss people. And that may be your situation right now, Libra, whether it's you or the opposite energy, you're just tired of being around this energy because literally they don't have anything else better to do than to be facetious. And I'm getting this particular Libra that I'm speaking with is not about that drama, okay? You may be coming to that realization, okay? You may also be more particular about the energies that you surround yourself with when it comes to manifesting. And you may be making the correlation now, Libra, that that has something very significantly to do with manifestations not coming to pass, okay? Scorpio. Mm. Scorpio, today you are accepting. Today you will open your heart and listen with an open mind to new ideas and opportunities, okay? You have crown chakra, solar plexus, throat, and third eye depicted here in the colors. That's why I love this rainbow deck. I think it's super cute. You are deciding today to maybe stop being such a stick in the mud, Scorp. You may be feeling a sense of being more open-minded about a particular situation with this, whether this is regarding your own ideas and opportunities or the ideas and opportunities of another. Okay? Confirmation. Perhaps this has something to do with something that you follow or maybe you're putting following to an end with the universe. There's a cycle ending. And you may be accepting the fact that this cycle is over. I know a lot of people will say they're done with something, Scorpio. But until you mentally make that decision, it's going to keep attracting the same situation or circumstances through new people over and over and over again. Unless you make the active conscious decision, hey, I'm accepting the fact that it's time to do something new. Okay, and this has been a reoccurring energy that we have been visiting with the Scorpio Zodiac sign. Okay, remember a couple of readings ago, Scorp, I said switch it up. Now you're understanding why Spirit is telling you this. And it's okay. We all bloom in our own time, Scorp. Sagittarius. Sage. Today you will not give in. Today you will not allow negative thoughts or feelings to prevent you from achieving happiness, okay? You have root chakra as well as crown, okay? So from literally from the rooter to the tutor, Sage, you may be going to get waxed. I don't know. You may be taking time to motivate yourself sage maybe you're tired of your own shit confirmation yeah there's an end there's a energetic shift happening sage that you're realizing now that possibly a large portion of why things aren't going your way is because of the negative 
ideals that you are putting on yourself. You're expecting others not to support you, but maybe you have a lot of support, Sage. You're realizing now that this is all conducive to perhaps negative self-talk that you have subconsciously talked yourself out of. You're, whether that's along the lines of, hey, I just don't have time to do this. Or, you know, I'll get around to meditating and working out whenever I get around to it. Fill in the blank. Whatever this situation is regarding, Sage, it's going to require you taking the time to motivate yourself, okay? Maybe not giving in so easily to, okay, I'll just do it tomorrow. Because guess what, Sage? No one is promised tomorrow. And it's better to do today what you could do today. Now, your tarot card, Sage, is the Hermit. Spirit is urging you to take heed to your intuition at this time and possibly contemplating the direction you want to move forward in and not losing sight of why you started this to begin with, right? Maybe you need to re-motivate and rethink as to why you even went in this direction and what it means to you on a soul level so that you can motivate yourself to move forward. All right? Capricorn. Cap, today you are grateful. Today your heart is filled with joy. I see the positive in everything today. So Capricorn, you may be taking it upon yourself to be like, good job to me for staying positive, right? You're also exuding a level of gratitude that the universe is responding to because when we are manifesting, Cap, it's important to remain gracious. Even if to other societal standards or to... Whoever's around or whatever's around, they may be looking down upon whatever this is. But regardless of what it is, you need to stay grateful, okay? Grateful and thankful. Has glass full energy because when you are grateful with a little, the divine blesses you with a lot. Right, Cap? Right. Your tarot card. Mm. It's the queen of wands, Cap. You may be realizing that staying in this gratuitous energy is actually attracting everything you want to you without you even having to chase it okay and when you're in this energy it's very very easy to manifest like literally like that okay you may also be feeling a sense of defense okay maybe someone tried to shit on your dreams cap or shit on something or an idea or something you're working on. And you're like, no, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Even though maybe someone may be looking or peering upon what you're working on or whatever this entails as something that is below you, right? But you're operating out of a positive mindset because you see the way forward in this. And you're going to take whatever elements are around you and do what the Queen of Wands does best. Allure, attract, magnetize, and create. Well done, Cap. Aquarius. Aquarius. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Aquarius, today you trust yourself. Today you know that you will make the right decisions to maintain a happy and healthy life. Okay? So maybe leading up to this point, you weren't feeling as confident about what a particular decision in your life or just a direction you wanted to go. Or maybe you were feeling like, you know, you were too old or too this or too that to do something. There's no such thing as time, Aquarius. And when you trust yourself and you're confident in the direction you want to go, it actually attracts more high, vib high vibrational opportunities for you to express that in the waking simulation, okay? And this is going to allow you to see the way forward, right? Because when we stay in a negative energy, it's hard to make the right decisions because we don't even see them, right? Because, you know, sometimes Aquarius, these opportunities come dressed in 
disguise, you know, with sleeves and overalls. Sometimes these uh, opportunities or decisions for a healthy and happy life look like work, Aquarius. But you know that you're trusting the process. And in doing so, this is going to yield very good results, okay? I like that energy. Let's see. Aquarius, your tarot card. Yeah. Letting your creative thoughts lead you. You're trusting in your own intuition, sword energy. You're in your own energy and you're letting it guide you away from confusion or any kind of negative self-talk or thoughts of others at this time, okay? And staying true to who you are is gonna get you far, okay? Pisces. Pisces, today you can make a difference Today, you will stay focused, work hard, and do your very best at everything you do, okay? So, you're making it a sense to be confident today, Pisceans. This is also an energy of feeling like your existence holds a purpose, okay? Maybe you are looking to make a difference in someone else's life, depending on what kind of Piscean you are. Staying focused and working hard and doing the best and showing up in the best light that you possibly can Pisces is going to be very conducive to your energy okay it's also going to make you feel good right because who wants to walk around sabotaging everything mm. and as I say that you have the ten of swords mm. maybe this was due to a betrayal and you feel like you need to work hard at rectifying this situation, Pisceans. You could be dealing with an air sign. You're trying to make something right after something went wrong, whether you were directly responsible or partially responsible. You feel some kind of um, dynamic of this uh, responsibility to show up and rectify a situation, okay? And if you're coming in with this energy, you may actually pull it off, okay? That concludes the check-in with the signs. I love y'all. I'm actually, I got to pivot now. And stay tuned. I'll try to check in with y'all later for Starseed After Dark, okay? And also my launch party for my first NFT collection is tonight. Um, if you guys want to parlay with me, I will be online a little later. You could tap in, all right? Love y'all. Bye.